In today's world, many businesses define the current industry affecting us. Some are small, while others are worldwide corporations. However, each organization still has to face challenges when managing data and information. Such data can concern sales, profits, contact information of customers, suppliers, or investors, and much more. Hence, organizations must make choices concerning the type and brand of software they will use to manage their data and information. For text format information, Microsoft Office Word is the number one choice for many companies and organizations. But when numbers are concerned, many interesting options arise such as Simply Accounting, FreshBooks, QuickBooks, Sage, and Excel. The organization I decided to work on is a non-for-profit organization which operates at Cégep Champlain saint laurent and is being part of the College Social Development and Management. The organization is obviously the SLCSA, where each of the five letters stands for St. Lawrence College Students Association. As a matter of fact, most of the paperwork is done using Word and Excel programs. In the first part of the video, the most common types of documents that SLCSC creates will be discussed, as well as some key elements or functions of Microsoft Word which are used to create these documents. In the second part, most of the financial documents of SLCSC will be used as examples of Excel worksheets in order to explain how businesses make use of such programs for the accounting purposes. First, SLCSA mostly uses Word to modify its bylaws and create its contracts, meeting minutes, and meeting agendas documents. In this video, I will show two documents. One is a Word template, the other is an example of how SLCSA formats its meeting agenda. One of SLCSA's contracts is a contract stating how much money has been paid in cash to any person other than members from the student council. Then, such document contains merge fields, recipients lists, and borders. Now, I will show you the document using Word software, so you have a better look of how each function is used. Concerning SLCSA second document that we will look at, it concerns meeting agenda of Tuesday, October 7th. As you can see, the meeting agenda contains multi-level lists, tabulations, and a letter ad. We'll also move to Word software so you can add a better look of it. The document you can see on your screen now is SLCSA's contract for cash payments made to any person. If we zoom into the contract, you can see that some merge fields are inserted and highlighted in yellow. These merge fields were created using the step-by-step -step wizard for letters. Even though it's a contract, the letter format has been used. If I click on the merge field button, you can see that my five merge fields appear. Step-by-step -step wizard for letters is available right here. You click on it and the pane opens on your right. Concerning SLCSA second document that we will look at, it concerns meeting agenda of Tuesday, October 7th. As you can see, the meeting agenda contains multi-level lists, tabulations, and a letter ad. We'll also move to Word software so you can add a better look of it. The second document we're gonna look at is SLCSA's meeting agenda. The reason why it is relevant is because we use a multi-level list. If we zoom in once again, there, you're gonna see that our multi-level list has up to three levels. First level is entered as soon as you enter information. When you want to drop a level down, you press the tab key. If, for instance, at level four, you want to drop one more level down, you press the tab key once again. If, however, you want to come back from the third level list to the second level list, 
you press Shift and Tab keys at the same time. Here it is for the multi-level list information. Before moving on to the Excel part of the video, I would tend to agree that Word is the number one text software used by businesses and organizations across the world. As a matter of fact, Word offers many functions and tools to help businesses manage their information. In the Excel part of this video, some of SLCSA's financial documents have been used as examples. As a matter of fact, I will briefly discuss how to make financial position statements and how to make graphs made out of information from budgets or statements. Some of the best functions of Excel are cell formatting, sum and subtract functions, and the relation between sheets. As for the first document I will use to show my explanations about Excel functions, here it is. Documents consist of the statement of financial position of SLCC. As I said earlier, cell formatting is really interesting in Excel. As a matter of fact, the three first cells, so these three, use the title cells file. Concerning the assets, liabilities, and shoulders line, they all consist of adding one cell style. For each total row, each row has the total row cell style. Now, sum and subtract functions are used in most cases when there are numbers involved. As a matter of fact, I have hidden most numbers concerning SLCSA's financial position. However, if you have to enter the formula, you can click on the text box and enter your formula by typing the equal sign just before the formula. Like this. Moreover, you can use the data from other sheets link information in your worksheet. Some of Excel's best functions concerning graphs are the many and various chart styles, the tools you can use to display or not your information about the chart, and the fact that most charts are trendy and practical. The second document I will use as an example for Excel functions is in fact the same document as the first one. However, it is on the second sheet. This part of the video isn't too complicated to understand. As a matter of fact, when you want to enter data into a graph, you just go on the Enter tab and click on Graph. You might choose a pie chart, a column chart, whatever chart you want. That's it. Because of its ease of use, its various functions, and its many great tools, I believe Excel to be the number one accounting software used by businesses and organizations across the world. As a matter of fact, many other functions are part of Excel. However, I did not have time to go over them as there are too many, of course. Finally, and as you may have learned through this video, SLCS thing mostly uses Word and Excel as its main software. Word is basically used for all kinds of text formats. Concerning Excel, it is mostly useful for statements, graphs, expenses lists, and much more. I believe that when companies use Word and Excel, they are going to success. As a matter of fact, take a look at this little character. See how fast this change while using Word and Excel software? It's so amazing!